Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to RimWorld. What are we doing? We're doing stuff. We're doing things. We're letting the colony exist. That's basically how things are going. Um, I need to also just make sure real quick that the episode's recording because for some reason the I didn't get the signal that I usually get. No, no, it totally is. It totally is. Okay. That was weird. I could have sworn I didn't hear it. Okay, anyway. We have a problem with our storage. It's getting a little bit too full. How do we fix that? Transport pods would help if we could research that, but we're kind of busy with that right now. Orbital beacon would really help, but sadly I don't know what the research is for that. Um, so, like, can, we can't build an orbital beacon right now, right? I don't see it there. It's not in power. I think it'd be miscellaneous usually. Oh, there it is. Orbital trade beacon. We can totally do it right now. Um, apparently I just didn't see it. I don't know. So build one there. Build one. Oh, it needs to be right where the freaking light is. Okay, we can move the light. Uh, reinstall the light over there. Can you just do that, like, right now? I know, it puts you in the dark. There you go. That worked out. Thank you. And build the orbiter beacon right here. And then we'll be able to trade everything. And the people that will come by in orbit will not care about us one whit. Like, they don't care about a reputation, they'll just, they just care about money. And that's really what I want. I just want people who care about money. So I don't know why I didn't see that before. Maybe I just looked in the wrong place for it. Um, we don't have a communication area, though. Right, we don't. I thought, okay, nope. Um, it's not work. Um, comms console, that's what I need. Let's go ahead and build that right there. Using up a lot of steel. Yeah, dirty cooking area. I mean, it's as clean as it can be right now. Although we have we have sterile we have sterile materials now, right? We could totally rip out this floor and put it in sterile material. Not wild about that because yeah, it takes up a lot of silver, not to mention a lot of steel. Maybe when we're doing a little bit better on steel, we can do that. Texera, though, just is so prone to food poisoning. I hate it. I hate it. She's just going to constantly throw up. Unfortunately, Bob's on the job, I think. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Bob. But, I mean, if she gets really sick, she's going to be in the hospital and we're just going to lose her for a bit. So that sucks. Okay, but we have... They're going to do this. It's ready to go. It just needs to be built. Okay, great. Yeah, Texture is down for the count. She's not going to be able to get out. The food poisoning is too strong. This is why I like Nutri-Paste meals, man. It doesn't do that to you. So I think... I think we're going to stop doing the smoked meat. Can we do the packaged meals yet, though? I don't think anyone can has that ability. So can anyone have level 8 cooking? Oh, great. Thank you. Appreciate that, Randy. Four, five, zero. No. Nobody can. So, if they don't train, they can't do it. Um, fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the smoked meat then. Do forever. Okay, there we go. Calm console, console up. So now, of course there's a fire. Where's the fire at? That's bad. Come on, guys, put it out. Everyone should be assigned to fire, right? Firefight. Do not want to lose our crops again, guys. Come on. I also wish it would rain around here sometime. That'd be great. Okay, there we go. That's good. Maybe what we need to do is... Maybe build around the other stuff. Maybe we build, like, sandstone around the fences. That could work. I don't care about an item stash quest right now. Human leather armchair. No thank you. No fucking thank you. Crazy people. Making fucking human leather stuff. Yeah, but if we put sandstone tile around the fences, then the fire won't be a problem. That's tempting. This flash storm. 
It's a rainy thunderstorm. Okay, it is raining. Thank, thank goodness. But so it is going to put out the fire bush by itself. The thunder is a problem. Or the lightning, rather, not the thunder. The thunder is okay. Transport fog crash again. Okay, pretty far away. Wow, all the way at the edge of the map. Okay. Death in eight hours. We can get to him. Yeah, Texera. Um, actually, can we get T7? Yeah, let's get, let's get T7, because T7 is in a better mood. Let's capture you. Speaking of capturing, though, there's this other prisoner over here. Oh, he's still, he's still bedridden. Yeah, I mean, he's not in a great shot right now. He can move, but barely. Let's let him live. Um, but the other guy we might be able to might be able to recruit. Okay, Stomp is fully healed. Okay, you know what, Stomp? You're ready to go. I don't want you here, so you're released. Bye-bye. He's just got too many medical problems. I just don't want him in that. I don't want him as a recruit. Falcon, I would like. But Stomp, I don't care about. Okay, T7 should be bringing in the other guy. Yeah. The thing is, it's a long trip. Um, why were you going that way anyway? Were you carrying the other guy? His activity resting, so he he might have died. Did the transport pod guy, yeah, he died. That didn't work out too well. Man, this freaking thunderstorm, man. And it's still raining. Come on, just get rid of the freaking lightning is all I want. Okay, there we go. He left. Good. Relation has improved slightly. I mean, the it's not too bad. It was what? 12? Something like that? Colonists needs treatment. Who? Redcon? What the hell happened? What happened, Redcon? What's up? You've got asthma. Oh, dude, we need to replace your lungs. Um, we can see about doing that. I don't know what who are, what we're going to replace them with, but I don't think you can make bionic lungs. I don't think that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. I think... I think instead we have to... I think we have to harvest a prisoner's lungs, which obviously is fatal. Well, only if you get both of them. person can survive on one lung. It's fine. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm, like, morally ready to do that. Animal disease plague. Okay, you know what? It's been fun, but... We're gonna slaughter both these guys. There's no reason for them to exist. They're just eating resources right now. We don't really need the meat, but... I don't need them to exist either, so... That's a lot of cotton. We have a lot of cotton right now. Okay, but we should be able to trade as soon as somebody comes into... Who's idle? Bob, my dude. What's up? Why are you idle? There's, like, so much stuff to do, my man. Crafting, like, your number two priority. Can you not do this right here? I, I have so much metal that needs smelting. Smelt metal from slag. Yeah, that's what we need to do, all right? That's, that's your new job. Reserved by peace. Why is... Now, now peace. Let's, let's let's change that up. Small metal from slag is going to be Bob only. All right. Nobody else is going to be able to do that. I mean, peace is going to do it right now because he had it reserved. But after he's done, it's just going to be Bob. And nobody else can do it. Now, will Bob do it? I don't know because he's also cleaning. But. Yeah, okay, there we go. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Slowly went down to Falcon's resistance here. But yeah, there's just so much slag everywhere that it's got to be done. Okay, so let's also set up the floors here. Let's go to speed one now. So floors, sandstone tile. We're going to just go ahead and floor all the way around the fences as much as we can to protect from fire. 
There you go. And then around this side. Now, fire can jump, but I don't know... Well, it can jump in real life. I don't have no idea if it can jump in game. Um, so let's put that there. We're going to put sandstone tile between the crops. I don't know if that's necessarily going to help, but maybe. Maybe. Seems like it should. And um, the crops are kind of irregularly placed anyway. I guess I could make that a little bit more regular, but I kind of like the the natural kind of look to this. Yeah, okay, it's it's definitely not ideally laid out, but we have enough food. We're okay there. Maybe I need to change this hay grass to something else. Let's uh, let's change this out. We don't need this hay grass. Let's turn this into. I mean, if it's corn, it's gonna be a shit ton of corn. I'm okay with that though. Let's make a shit ton of corn. Let's do it. It's gonna be corn now. Uh, go to speed three. Okay. Okay, nobody's in the green anymore, unfortunately. But you guys should start gradually getting used to the idea of people have died, right? Yes, you're actually totally fine. Okay, you're extremely comfortable. Recreation fully satisfied. Impressive rec room, impressive dining room. Good, good, you're good. Hey, Jawsbreaker, good to see you. If we just get a fucking... That's all... I just want a trader, man. We have a full freaking storage area. We have, like, two spots of L1 storage right now. We just need a trader to come in and say, Hey, you know, that stuff you have, I would love some of that. Because we have sculptures for days. We have a thrumbo horn that's just sitting here doing nothing. We have melee weapons I'm not going to use. Take them. We have clothing. Way more than I could possibly need. If you guys just take this stuff off my hands, please, 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 please. I mean, the nice thing about this is that we can see everyone's working. We're doing well. Things are working out. It's I've only got minor complaints, really. We're doing pretty well. I mean, yeah, we, some people have died. That's true. But when I started this scenario, and I gave the condition that peace had to live, I was like, I don't know if this is ever going to work. But it could. Okay, here we go. We have a trader. It's a pirate, which means they're probably going to sell nothing I want, but they're not going to buy anything either. But they're going to be able to, they're going to take the sculptures off our hands. Take all of my sculptures, please. Thank you very much. Okay, that's at least something. They're also going to take some of these weapons off our hands. Um, take the machine pistol. I don't want it. Take the auto pistol, the revolver, the auto pistol and the revolver, and the machine pistol. That's a great start already. Um, take the... Do, 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 do. Okay, we could sell Falcon. It's actually kind of tempting right now. And we could buy somebody who's actually going to be willing to join us immediately. It'd be a little bit of a hit. Like, a little bit of a hit in a couple of different ways. One, like, monetarily. Because we have to pay more than we'd sell Falcon for. Number two would be our colonists would get a hit to their morale if I do this. Because it's selling, him in, selling, selling her into slavery, which is kind of fucked up. Yeah, that, that's a moral horizon that I want to keep on the horizon. Let's, let's not do that. But still... My one complaint, I think, is handled. Because each one of these takes up one slot in storage. And those are all going now. Bye-bye. It's not as good as being able to take, like, the maces away from me. But I'm still going to take it. Thank you, pirates. Best pirates ever. And we get a little bit of cash, too. Which I'm totally okay with. So, yeah. Thank you. Alright. Um, we should definitely set up a couple of more... Um, we want more small, small sculptures. Let's say five. We probably or six. Six is fine. Because they're they make very good trade goods. Uh, let's also make sure they're not making them out of something crazy. No steel. No 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 <laughs> yeah, no steel sculptures. The fuck guys. No steel sculptures. Come on. Steel's too precious for that. 
I know it looks like we have a lot, but we really don't. Chunks of a spacecraft nearby. Okay. I mean, that's at least some components. Oh, man, we're, like, right nearby, too. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. Okay, we've kind of been really lucky with the way things have laid out. You know, we, we've, we've got a good little kill box, kind of. Though we actually haven't had to use it because our traps and IEDs are taking care of everything for us. We've got a nice defensive position. I think once we get a little bit more limestone... I think we we probably insulate the base just by putting a second wall around it. Um, probably means we need to move this, though. Can we move this? We cannot. We just need to move it one step over. That's it. Turkey died. Um, it should have died anyway because I marked it for slaughter. Come on, guys. Freaking pay attention. There's no one assigned to... No, if you're assigned to cooking, you're assigned to butchering. That's how that works. So what the hell, guys? Or handling or something. But come on, guys. So, Texera, can you grab this? Oh. I can't haul for whatever reason. Texera can haul, right? Texera can haul. Yeah. Why would not you just haul the... Okay. You know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna micromanage. You wanna leave it to rot in the freaking grazing area? Fine. Let it rot. Let it rot. So I need a melee weapon trader. It's possible an arms trader will come in, and that'll that'll do it. Mad tortoise. Okay. He's outside the wall, so the chances of him coming in without us realizing is going to be unlikely. I mean, this guy moves fast for a tortoise, but we are at speed three. Actually, tortoises can move super fast. It's actually kind of scary. They usually don't need to, but when they want to, they will come at you. It's actually frightening. Where are you going? You're just moving. Okay. You're not hunting anyone. Oh, there we go. Melee attacking Texera. Okay, so you're going to come through the traps. Okay. Um, somehow you're moving through the traps and not being affected. I'm kind of disturbed by that. How is that possible? You're going for Texera. Texera can't defend herself. Uh, Bob, could you uh, hold up here and um, we need a uh, we need a uh, we need a defensive plan. I didn't think we needed a defensive plan against a tortoise, but we might. Texera, yeah, she can't defend herself, or she refuses to. I guess she's incapable of violence either way. Oh no 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 no! It's on fire. The tortoise is now on fire. Okay okay okay, we're fine. We're good. Don't put out the fire though, because the tortoise. That's the only thing that's keeping the tortoise like safe right now okay you are going to beat out the fire on the tortoise the tortoise is going to why is the boom rat there why is the boom rat there get out of there boom rat is the tortoise going to live he's burned if his rest goes down to zero he gets reset But if he recovers, he's still going to be mad. Don't be mad, tortoise. Don't be a mad tortoise. I don't know. His health is 20%. Burned all to hell. I don't think the tortoise is going to... Well, it might live. I don't know. If he doesn't eat pretty soon, he will die. He's not a good straighter. You know what? You know what? I will totally... Totally go talk to that. Okay, what do you got? He's not a good trader. You got some bionic eyes. That's actually really good, but I, I'm close to be able to make that myself, so thanks, but no thanks. Thrumblehorn, I would totally sell that to you right now. And I can totally sell you... Oh, you're going to sell me the sculptures. Okay, no thanks. Oh, we have a cleaner base station. Oh, can we afford it? 2689 Yes, we can afford it. It's going to cost everything we have. But I think it's worth it. Because then we don't need to assign any of our guys to cleaning. We just let the bot do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Accepted. And we're going to install this bot. Um, we're going to install the bot. Inside the lab. 
sure, why not? We can install the bot inside the lab. Let's put it right near the door where nothing else can go anyway. And then the bot will just go and do stuff, and it'll be great. And then we can take everyone off of cleaning duty, because we never need to do that again. Bob can be freed up to do whatever he can do. It'll be great. Darwin are looking at the... Yeah, he's viewing the art. Okay. Get the mood buff, my man. And, of course, a solar flare. So, um, Bob and Ray still needs to be on cleaning duty for a little while longer. Is Mad Tortoise still mad? He is no longer mad. Okay. But I think it's going to die because it's going to starve to death. Although, that takes a while. Eight conditions need tending. Yeah. Malnutrition is trivial right now. When he gets to major, then it has the possibility of killing you. Um, we could probably tame and then recruit the tortoise, but I really don't want to. I don't need the tortoise. I'm tempted to murder it. Yeah, let's actually, let's murder it. Hunt it. Whatever, you're not going to be able to attack me. But just kill it. We don't need it. Yeah, you guys put down the sandstone blocks. Bob Brown has gotten food poisoning from berries. Dangerous food type? Berries are a dangerous food type? Are you shitting me? Solar flare is ending. Great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Got more hay grass that we know what to do with. You know, we could probably turn this corn area into hay grass, and that would be enough. Chunks of the spacecraft impacted nearby. That's not exactly nearby, but I'll, I'll take it. Sure. Hey, man, free components. We haven't done this one yet, though. Yeah, we could trade this. Um, let's wait until the crop comes in, though. I don't want to. I don't want to do that too early. And we have more than enough hay grass just from changing this over. So let's 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 hold off. Let's hold off. We don't need to worry about it yet. Slowly whittling you down, Falcon. We'll get you. We'll get you. It's a one percent chance to recruit you after we get your resistance down, but we'll get you there. It'll happen eventually. Like 30 or 40 years from now, at the very least. Well, maybe most. It's just satisfying to watch these guys work. Just set things up and they go. I've extra ramp. Okay, that should be slaughtered already, guys. Come on. Cannot slaughter and capable of violence. Oh, that explains so much. Cannot hit target? I don't want you to hit the target, you madman. Can we just... Okay, so that's what's going on. Is our cookers... No, Darwin are. You should be able to... Outside a lot of our home. Oh. I'm silly. Unrestricted. Sorry about that. Um, so, Darwin are. You can't murder the... You can't murder the ram. I hate everything right now. Come on, guys. But that's why they let it... Yeah, that's why we let the turkey just rot there. Is that actually going to be good to eat now? That seems dangerous, Texera. I don't know. Well, it doesn't say rotten. Okay. I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. It's been laying out there for two days, but whatever. Just, you know, pick it up. Supposedly, roadkill couture is a thing. Uh, did you guys... You guys didn't install the, the cleaning bot. I'd like you guys to install the cleaning bot, please. I realize you're all asleep right now. You don't know what I'm saying. Okay, here, Darwinar. Real quick. Can you do this? Oh, you guys put it away. That's hilarious. Okay, there we go. Alright, activate. Okay, there we go. Cleaning bot, go. Okay, so that means nobody needs to be cleaning ever again. You guys are free. You guys are free. Be free. You can do other things aside from cleaning. Huzzah! And the cleaning bot will just work. Great. Okay. Sandstone's not done yet. As soon as it, as soon as soon we've protected our crops as best we can, then we will... Um, then we'll worry about paving the inside of the colony. Can you guys slaughter this Ibex Ram, please? Is that handling? I'll, anything you guys need to do, okay? Let's just... Do the, do the thing. Peace, gonna go over here and kill the... Okay, it is it's totally handling. Alright, that was it. Thank you. 
Had to be something. There we go. Okay. Handled. Finally. You guys gonna go take care of the spacecraft? Or where are you going, Bob? Bob is going... Oh, he's gonna go get some rocks. Okay. Can you... Actually, can you leave the rock right there, Bob? You're not assigned to constructing. That's construction? But I guess deconstruction is a type of construct. Okay, I can barely see that, but all right, sure. I have, you guys have nothing else to do. Construct, I guess? That seems dangerous as fuck, but sure. I mean, you guys are going to have more to do. Okay, resistance broken. Huzzah, Falcon, you're going to be ours. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. We're going to recruit you now, okay? We have a 1% chance, but we're going to do it. Eventually, we're going to roll that 100 face die. And we're going to roll 100. It's going to happen. Eventually. Just a law of lar large numbers says it's going to happen. Oh, the bot needs to be... Um, hold on. Robots. You're restricted to home, okay? Actually, yeah. Restricted to home. I mean, I might need to make another zone just for the bot. Because home's kind of a big area, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's actually... let's let's Because home just includes the outside world, too, and that doesn't work out. So let's do a new area. Uh, we need to manage, actually. Um, manage areas. Here we go. So create a new area. We will rename this to... I think just... Roomba. I think it just makes sense. Okay. So the Roomba area... Um, we need to... Expand a lot area for the Roomba. You are allowed to go out here I think is fine and out here is fine also do we want to go into the grazing area this is technically home but I don't really see a good reason for it so I'm going to say no I think the fields could sometimes use a good cleaning so we'll say this is available too every once in a while it, there's, there's a reason to clean the fields it's not often, but it does come up. And then the quarry as well. And maybe... Yeah, sometimes blood and stuff will happen in the fighting zone, so we'll say here as well. But that's it. That's all you're allowed to do. So now you're restricted. Did I tell you you're restricted? Yeah, you're restricted to the room area. Okay. And that can be helpful for maybe something else. We got like a hauling... Oh no, a hauling bot, we will hardly want to go all, all over the map. But right now, we have just so little money, it's not going to matter. So fabrication's done, so that means we're researching bionics. Great. Okay, that includes the area around the... Uh... Yes, that includes the area around the generators. Great, okay, thank you. Yeah, so the bot will go until it's out of power. It'll go recharge and then clean up again. But that's fantastic. It's a big base though, so it's got a lot of it's got a lot of work ahead of it. That's okay. It doesn't get tired. Doesn't get sleepy. Doesn't complain about its job. It doesn't say, "Oh, boo hoo, I've got to clean again today." It says, "Oh, yay, I can clean again today." It loves cleaning. It is a fan of all the cleaning. Bob is a little bit moody right now. What's your problem, Bob? Rebuff by T7. Uh, T7 is in a relationship right now, so um, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, that turns out that's a good idea for cleaning the area. Okay, yeah, I thought the crops sometimes needed to be done. Okay, so we are going to need hay grass occasionally because we are going to get... Well, I mean, we don't have any animals now, but we could. Peace talks. That's actually kind of tempting. Offer walks bar up to 16 days. Yeah, the thing is, we don't know how to do that yet. Uh, we have bills for smoked meats, yes. When we have enough meat. Right now, we have enough meat. I guess it's probably not a priority. T7 should be able to cook, but I guess... Oh. Okay, there's a harvest going on. That makes total sense. Okay, Bob, guess what? Uh, you can't haul, right. Uh, Recon can, though, and so can Sarah. So you guys are hauling. 
We need to get that cotton inside, please. And the smoke leaf as well. Eventually, when we get transport pods, we will start improving our relations with everybody, and then we'll get raided less often. And then we can coast to victory. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna take time. It's not gonna be immediate, but that's what we did on our first successful colony, which was actually our second second colony since 1.0. But that was also with Cassandra, so I don't know what Randy has in store for us here. I mean, the peace talks I'm kind of tempted by. 16 days. The thing is, well, I mean, if we have smoked meat, we could probably make it work. So let's look at wildlife here. Yeah, okay. So if Redcon hunts properly, the trouble is he's a bad shot, so it takes him forever. Basically the problem. If he was a better shot, he was also doing it more often. Um, hunting is not his number one priority, is it? We can change that. Yeah, since Texera is hauling, guess what, Redcon? You're hunting and nothing else. I mean, you should haul also, but yeah, you should definitely hunt as your number one party because we need the meat. We need the smoked meat so that we can travel. The smoked meat should last for a while, I think. I think that's I think that's one of the reasons why the mod allows it is because it lets it lets you travel a little bit earlier without having to reach your pemmican. Um, I mean, you are hitting the deer, the Ibex Rams, but there we go. Thank you. I think there was some collateral damage in there, too. A little dangerous. Uh, Bob's prioritizing doing this crafting instead of this crafting. I don't get it. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I don't get it. Okay, let's go down to speed one. I'm gonna... I'm going to look this up because I'm going to see what sm what skill smelting is and see if maybe I can figure out okay that's right sorry my my tablet that I'm looking this up on is going oh yeah well you get to do this thing um thanks but I don't care right now why are you telling me these things okay so rim world and uh smelting right smelts Smelter. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, let's look at the wiki. Things are going at speed one right now, but that's okay. Um, so this is crafting. It is crafting. So for some reason, he's prioritizing stone blocks over the other kind. I guess we could assign... So we've assigned this to him, but if we assign this to somebody else, then he won't do it. And we want him to do this, just not at priority. Can we adjust that at all? It's just both crafting to him. He doesn't care. Is the thing. I wish it was just smithing, so I could specify, but it's not. Smithing is making a weapon or something like that, so... Okay, he's going to continue to do that. Um, what I can do, though, is restrict the area, right? We can restrict, yeah, ingredient radius is undefined. I can shrink it down. Um, let's zoom out a little bit so we see that better. Uh, so details, ingredient radius. There we go. Okay, so like I can say like this big, only go here. It's so, like it's from the quarry or something, do that. So that's that stuff pile, and then this one, same deal. Actually, we'll see the circle. There it is. There. Only from that that area. So then, the slag we can pick up from everywhere. The stone we can only pick up from certain areas. That should help. Now Bob's gonna go grab this because he was already on the on his way to do that anyway. But from now on, we need to be able to pull it from the quarry specifically, or haul it in. Be able to make that happen. I got visitors. Hey guys, it's been a long time since we have had visitors. Come on in. Oh, we got a new recruit. The hundred percent worked. Oh shit, we did it. We did it. That's fantastic. So your name is no longer Falcon. Bottom of the universe, please give me a random follower name or subscriber, whatever. 
Dirty Trucker. Dirty Trucker was in our last colony. I remember that explicitly. So give me another name. Fishy Nub Cake. That's great. I love it. Okay. Okay. Oh man, these names are hilarious. Okay, so. Falcon, you're no longer called Falcon. You're now Fishy. Nubcake. And according to Bot of the Universe, you are a YouTube subscriber. So welcome to the channel. Welcome to the colony. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's restrict your work there, and you get three hours of recreation a day. You can do anything you want. We're gonna go ahead and sign you the soldier outfit, because I believe you are allowed to do stuff, right? You're allowed to let's see. Yeah, capable of none. Great. You have no health conditions either. You should go pick up some stuff though. That's what you're doing right now. It's great. Um, before you go pick up clothes. And I know clothes are important. You should definitely do that. Put the bullet auction rifle. You're going to need that to help defend the colony. You can grab your clothes afterwards. That's fine. As for your actual work, though, let's see. Let's see what you're good at. Um, you're an okay crafter. I'm totally okay putting you on board with that. Let's take you off of art, though. You good at tailoring? Eh, you're okay at it. All right. I think everyone should be on plant cutting and everyone's on mining. Everyone should be on mining, at least on level four. Uh, Redcon's an okay grower, but you are not. You do not, yeah, you should not be allowed. Actually, quarry is a separate skill. Okay, but we have mining that needs to be done over here. We need the steel, so. I totally forgot quarrying was a separate skill. Um, so we'll just put everyone on four there. You don't have to do it, but if you have nothing else to do, why not? Okay. No, I'm good with this. I'm good with this. You're also a hunter, but... Oh, you're a far better hunter than Retcon. Okay, maybe you're you're a new hunter. Retcon's bad at his job, but you now are a hunter. Retcon can do other stuff. I'm okay with that. Yeah, 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 we're good. Okay, so visitors, hello. Come on in. Um, peace, I think, has the best social score, right? 12 versus 2. 8 is okay. 0 0.74 sounds like me. No social skills at all also sounds like me. 0. 13. Okay, Redcon's actually better off. Um, yeah, go talk to the leader. Or the hell the leader is. Should I have a question mark over their head? Or these are just visitors. Oh, they're just visiting. They're not traitors. Never mind. You can talk to them, but it doesn't matter at all. Okay, well, come on in, guys. I guess, you know, there's a table here if you want to eat. If you guys want to mill about inside the river, I suppose that's, you know, could be your thing. It's weird, but sure. Oh, I just, I just disabled the peace talk quest. I mean, I didn't disable it, but I made it go away. Um, that might be okay. Oh, is anybody a good cook? Fishy, you a good cook? No, not at all. Okay, so much for that. All right, thanks guys, I guess, for visiting. Bye. I don't know why you came here, but thanks for doing it, I guess. Where's Fishy going? He is going all the way around. Oh, to hunt. At nighttime, this is a great idea. You're a bad shot, though. I don't know what even you're aiming at. He's a terrible shot. It's okay. So was Redcon, and we let him hunt for basically ever. It's not like ammunition is a limited supply. There, are, there is a mod that lets you do that, though. Make it so that um, ammunition is actually a thing you need to worry about. Not sure that's ever going to be a good idea for us. Hey, T7, what are you doing? You are sowing the area. That's important, and I agree. But can you do me a favor here and butcher all these animals first? Just to make sure they take up a little bit less space. I mean, it probably takes up less space if we were to actually make them into smoked meat, but we're not there yet. Okay, 
What is that? Ambrosia. Okay, so they harvested the ambrosia. That's why I set up the area here. Oh, shit. Magazel. We'll attack everyone it sees. Uh, well, Fishy is out there somewhere. Yes, he is. He can maybe defend himself, but... I mean, gazelles are dangerous. They really are. Um, so let's recruit Fishy. And unfortunately, the gazelle's going to head right for him. And there's no way into the base other than the one way, because I specifically built it that way. Um, so Fishy's going to have a hell of a time. How, a brand new member of our colony. He may die to a gazelle. All right, so come over here, Fishy. Yeah, because the gazelle's coming for you. All right. Yeah, come over here. You have to outrun the gazelle, okay? I don't know how the hell you're going to do that. No, no, no. You need, to, you need to keep running, Fishy. Don't aim for him. You just need to get through the traps. If you get through the traps, you'll be fine. Fishy's getting hurt. He's getting hurt. Um, can you guys come over here? I mean, if Fishy gets through the traps, he'll be fine. But the trouble is he might not. Because he's being hurt right now. Just retreat, Fishy. Don't. He's stunned. Oh, come on. Run, 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 run. Run, Fishy. He's going to get downed. It's going to happen. The gazelle's going to take him out. Oh, good dodge. Run. You fool. Fly, you fool. Run. Oh, that was a good dodge, Fishy. You're learning. Oh, don't get stunned. Just every time they get hit, they slow down. Texera can't do anything. What are you doing? Why are you going there? You're hauling a dead apaca. I mean, you might be a distraction, so I'm going to let you do it. Plus, you'll open the door for Fishy. No, you did not. Okay. Um, Texera, you're going to be recruited right now. Because, instead, you're going to run over this. Oh, okay, there we go. That worked. Okay, now you're unrecruited. Go rescue Fishy. Well, at least she was there to be quick on the quick on the take, but man, that sucked. All because we needed some meat. Redcon, what are you doing? You are hauling a data pack. Okay, yes, that was that was totally a thing. It's totally a thing. Okay, well, welcome to the colony and get instantly almost murdered. How are you doing, man? Wow. Bruised is all hell. And bitten, cracked left radius, left radius, radius, radius. That's the, um, I think that's near the, uh, the shoulder. Remembering my, I mean, I'm remembering like sixth grade biology here. We did pieces of the skeleton, but I don't remember exactly where the radius is. Still building this out. Are we actually, no, we're not out of sandstone. They're apparently prioritizing this. This actually looks really nice. This looks almost garden-like. That's neat. All right, road speed. Yeah, road speed three. Middle of winter, 10 degrees outside. Nice, comfortable 20 degrees inside. Good. It means the heaters are working. Well, we, if we get a cold snap, we're going to be in a world of hurt, but yeah, we don't have enough wood to be able to make a fire. It's going to be really bad. I guess we could go outside the walls for that. Oh, we should probably... I keep talking about insulation. We haven't done any of that yet. This is limestone. Oh, eclipse. That's fine. That just means stuff doesn't grow as well. Big deal. Psychic Soothe is ending. That's too bad. It was really improving people's mood. Okay, Fishy's going to be in the hospital for a while. Hunter lacks range weapon. Oh, it's Fishy. Yeah, um, before you go smoking, my dude, your pistol, or your, your weapon drops over here. Yep, there it is. Someone will eventually go pick that up. Oh, we don't have enough wood to rearm the traps either. Uh, what do we do about that? It's a good question. Um guess we can go we could probably if we built a door over here we'd be able to we would have been able to handle the whole because fishy would have just been able to walk through that way so let's build a 
a door out of, I don't know, sandstone. We have a lot of it. Uh, do we? Hold on. Let's build it out of marble. Marble door. Right there. Um, you guys can get to that whenever you're going to get to it. It's fine. No rush. Okay, and for this, we were going to trade this... Oh, sorry. There we go. Into hay grass. We don't need it now, but we may later. That's a smaller area. We should be okay. Okay, that should work. It's important to learn from your mistakes. And the mistake we learned from is not having a secondary way into our base. Hopefully that's not going to bite us in the ass later, but we'll see. What I do need to worry about is eventually, at some point, we're going to get raiders who will want to go past our defenses. And the easiest way to go past our defenses is to come through here. They're going to, like, mine through a wall or something. It's going to happen. So let's just plan for that right now. Um, we've got time. Especially we go speed one here. Uh, if we do a wall, let's say make it out of, I don't know, limestone? Do we have enough limestone for this? 116. Let's leave the limestone for the... Uh, actual colony walls. Let's do a slate. It's a little bit weaker of a stone, but it'd be okay. So we'll do... Oops, that's doors. Slate wall. Here we go. Okay. So we want some kind of defensive perimeter. Let's say build out from here. So... There. Because we're not going to have the bottleneck we would, necessarily. If we build that, and we have enough steel for that, so let's do security and a security barrier here. There. Okay, so they'll build that. We don't know where exactly they'd come in, so building traps and stuff doesn't make any sense, but a turret might make sense. We build a turret, like, over here. That could work. That'll at least help. I think. Um, yeah, so let's build the turret. Right there is fine. And we need to power it somehow. Uh, let's see. Can I do this? If I do power circuit, can I push it through the walls? I don't know if I can. Because it's natural stone walls, I don't know if I can do that. I think that has to be constructed walls to be able to string power through it. I guess we'll find out. If we end up mining this instead, that's not necessarily a horrible thing. Okay. Speed 3. That's going to take a little bit of steel to do, but I mean, we have steel that's available to be mined and stuff, so we'll get there. Oh, hey, and the slag went away. Looks like they did it finally. They didn't take away this yet, but, you know, so what's baby steps, baby steps. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. This has been RimWorld. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.